you're hitting the gym you're lifting you're sweating but your muscles they've stopped growing why because there's one rule you might be breaking without even realizing it it's not about working harder it's about working smarter it's called progressive overload and if you're not following it you're literally leaving gains on the table today I'll show you how this rule transforms average lifters into beasts backed by science real-life examples and surprising truths you've never heard before let's dive deep into the science behind the most fundamental principle of muscle building all right let's break it down progressive overload it sounds complicated but it's really pretty simple progressive overload is the art and science of increasing the stress placed on your muscles over time it just means consistently increasing the demands you place on your muscles over time now why is this so important imagine trying to grow a tree in a tiny pot no matter how much water or sunlight it gets it won't grow if the roots don't have room to expand your muscles are the same they only grow when you give them new challenges to overcome your body is an incredible machine always adapting to the stresses you put on it when you challenge your muscles with heavier weights more reps or even just better form you create microscopic tears in those muscle fibers don't freak out this is a good thing these micro tears are the engine of muscle growth you see after a tough workout your body goes into repair mode it rebuilds those damaged fibers and it makes them bigger and stronger to handle the increased demands you're placing on them so if you're doing the same workout week after week lifting the same weights for the same reps your body adapts and once it adapts it stops changing no extra stress no adaptation no growth it's the fundamental law of muscle evolution it's like staying on that same level in a video game you're not going to level up by fighting the same weak enemies right you got to take on bigger challenges this is why progressive overload is non-negotiable it's the driving force behind muscle hypertrophy the actual growth process no progressive overload no new gains it's as simple as that why does your body stop changing even with a perfect routine because your body loves comfort once it adapts to your workouts it stops upgrading muscle hypertrophy only kicks in when your body says whoa i'm not ready for this and don't think this is just for the young guys it doesn't matter if you're a seasoned athlete or just starting out the principle remains the same even olympic athletes plateau without progressive overload they constantly vary weight reps or intensity to force adaptation your body will always respond to a challenge you just have to keep pushing those limits but listen i'm not saying you should go into beast mode every single workout and risk injury it's about making smart incremental progress think of it like climbing a mountain you don't sprint up the whole thing you take it step by step gradually increasing your altitude that's what we're doing with progressive overload gradually increasing the demands to reach that peak physique remember your body is designed to grow but only when it senses it's in danger of falling behind let's really understand what happens when you embrace progressive overload you're not just lifting weights you're sending a powerful signal to your body a signal that says hey we need to adapt we need to get stronger and your body responds by building more muscle see when you challenge your muscles 
you're triggering something called muscle protein synthesis. This is the process where your body uses protein to repair and rebuild those muscle fibers we talked about, making them bigger and stronger. But here's the catch. Muscle protein synthesis is only elevated for a limited time after your workout. So if you're not consistently challenging your muscles, you're missing out on that crucial window of opportunity for growth. Now, I know some of you are thinking, but doctor, I don't want to get too bulky. Listen, progressive overload isn't just about getting huge. It's about building the strong, healthy and functional body you need to live your life to the fullest. It's about having the strength to play with your kids, carry those groceries with ease, or even just maintain your independence as you age. And for those of you who are all about that aesthetic, building muscle is the key to a lean toned physique. Muscle burns more calories at rest than fat. So the more muscle you have, the more efficiently your body burns calories throughout the day. But here's the hard truth. If you ignore progressive overload, you're basically telling your body that it doesn't need to change. You're settling for mediocrity, for staying stuck in that same place. And I know you're better than that. You have the potential to achieve incredible things. But it all starts with pushing your limits and embracing the power of progressive overload. Okay, now that you understand why progressive overload is so important, let's talk about how to apply it to your workouts. Because, let's face it, doing it wrong can lead to injury and frustration. We want smart, sustainable progress here. The most common method is increasing weight. This is all about that mechanical tension we talked about. Every time you add weight, your muscles must work harder. That extra load causes micro tears that trigger repair and growth. This activates your fast twitch fibers, the ones responsible for explosive size. So if you're bench pressing 100 pounds for 8 reps this week, next week try 105 for the same reps. Sounds small? It's everything. Small increases consistently over time. When was the last time you actually increased your weights? Next, you can increase reps. Can't add weight? Add reps. This keeps your muscles under tension for a longer period, leading to more metabolic stress, more lactic acid, and more hormonal signals screaming at your body to grow. So, if you're doing 3 sets of 10 reps, try increasing to 12 reps for each set. It's like cooking meat longer. More time under heat brings deeper change. Another way is to increase sets. Think of this as putting more fuel into the fire. More sets mean more total volume, which means more work for those muscles. So if you normally do 3 sets of an exercise, bump it up to 4. What's your weekly set count per muscle group? It matters a lot. Then there's increasing training frequency. This is about hitting the same muscle groups more often throughout the week. Training a muscle once a week is like watering a plant once a week. Possible, but not optimal. So, instead of training legs once a week, try twice a week with proper recovery in between. The pros train each muscle two to three times weekly. Not because they're obsessed, but because it works. You can also decrease rest time. This may sound counterintuitive, but shorter rest periods increase the intensity of your workouts and challenge your muscles in a different way. Less rest, more fatigue, more muscle adaptation, but be strategic. This works best with isolation or accessory lifts. For example, 
Drop rest between sets from 90 to 60 seconds. What's harder, lifting heavy or recovering fast? Both can build you. And finally, don't underestimate the power of improving your form or range of motion. It's not just about what you lift, it's how you lift. Doing an exercise with better technique or through a fuller range of motion can make a huge difference in muscle activation and growth. For example, full depth squats versus half reps. Controlled three second negatives instead of rushing. It's like writing a book. Do you want a rough draft or a masterpiece? What are some common mistakes you should be careful of? One of the biggest mistakes people make when trying to build muscle is going too heavy too soon. While lifting heavier weights is essential for growth, doing it prematurely without proper form can easily lead to injury and set you back. Progress should be gradual, allowing your muscles, joints and nervous system to adapt safely. Another common error is neglecting recovery. It's important to remember that muscles don't grow during your workouts. They grow during rest. Without proper sleep, nutrition and rest days, your gains will be limited and your risk of overtraining increases. Not tracking your progress is another mistake that silently stalls results. If you don't write down your lifts, reps and how you felt during each session, you won't know when or how to push further. Finally, sticking to the same routine for too long leads to stagnation. Your body adapts quickly, so it's crucial to change training variables like intensity, volume, rest periods or exercise selection every four to six weeks to keep challenging your muscles and continue making progress. So what's the biggest muscle killer? Complacency. It creeps in silently. One week you're pushing hard, next week you're coasting. Then, plateau. Progressive overload is your antidote. Progressive overload is not about killing yourself every session. It's not about ego lifting. It's about leveling up systematically. It's about challenging your muscles just enough so they adapt, recover and grow. Think of it as systematically leveling up in the gym, one rep, one set, one plate at a time. If you master this rule, you unlock the real secret to long-term consistent muscle growth, no matter your age, experience or genetics. Train smart. Push with purpose. Adapt like a machine. That's how muscle is built. That's how strength is earned. What will you do differently in your next workout? Leave a comment. See you next time. Keep watching MedGrow and take care of yourself.